If you are stopped for a traffic violation and you are the driver, you are required to provide your license, proof of your insurance, and your registration for the vehicle. If you're not sure why you've been stopped, you should ask whether or not you are free to leave. If the officer says that you are free to leave, you should leave immediately, calmly, but leave immediately. If the officer says that you are not free to leave, you may ask, why have you been stopped? An officer is not necessarily required to answer that question, but they may, and that can be useful information. If an officer asks for permission to search your car, you should say no. You do not have to consent to a search. If you choose to invoke your right to remain silent, you actually have to say that. You need to say, I'm invoking my right to remain silent. A traffic stop can only last as long as it takes for the officer to investigate the traffic violation they have stopped you for. If the officer finds evidence of another crime and establishes what they call reasonable suspicion, they can hold you for longer. But if they don't have that, they can only investigate the traffic violation itself. That includes getting your license, your insurance, and your registration, running your name to confirm that you do not have any arrest warrants, checking to make sure the registration is valid, and confirming whether or not a violation has occurred. Once that is complete, the officer has to let you go. If the officer diverts into any other purpose that is not related to investigating the traffic violation itself, that officer has violated your constitutional rights. Even if you believe your rights are being violated, you should comply with orders that an officer gives you. You do not want to be charged with obstructing. That said, if you are only taking an action because an officer has ordered you to do so, you can say clearly that you are not consenting to the action and that you do not believe the action is lawful. If the officer places you under arrest, you should ask for a lawyer immediately. If you do not know whether or not you've been placed under arrest, it never hurts to say that you want to see a lawyer immediately. If you are a passenger, passenger in a car that is stopped for a traffic violation. You have the same rights as the driver in the car. However, unlike the driver, if an officer asks for your identification, you do not need to provide that identification unless the officer has reasonable suspicion that you have committed a criminal offense.